Let us now learn about ray diagrams for convex mirrors. We know that the position of object with respect to the mirror is going to affect properties of the image, right? Meaning what is the size of the image, how it is, is it a real or virtual, you know, that kind of properties it is going to affect, right? In video chundi so that you will understand in the case of convex mirrors, how position of the object with respect to mirror is going to affect the properties of the image, okay? In our previous video, we have drawn ray diagrams for the case of concave mirror to understand how the position of the object is going to affect various properties of the image, right? In the case of concave mirror, I can have an object beyond C. C is center of curvature, right? Or I can have the object at center of curvature or in between focus and center of curvature or my object can be here at focus or it can be between P and F. These are different possibilities, right? And by drawing ray diagrams, we understood where the position of image is going to be and whether the image is going to be real or virtual, whether it is going to be enlarged or diminished, erect or inverted, right? For the case of convex mirror also, we are going to do this, but convex mirror's case is fairly simple. You see, this side of the mirror is the reflecting side of the mirror, right? Meaning this is front side of the mirror and this is back side of the mirror. P indicates the pole of the mirror, F is focus point and C is center of curvature. In the case of convex mirror, we have focus and center of curvature behind the mirror. Whereas in the case of concave mirror, they were on the front side of the mirror. This is the one of the differences you have to note, right? Now, let me say that I have infinity, it is at infinitely long distance from the pole, you know, I can place an object there or I can place an object somewhat near to the pole, right? So these are the only two possibilities. The object position can be at infinity, means it is far away from the mirror or it between, in between pole and infinity, meaning somewhat closer to the mirror. So depending upon the position of the object, how it is going to affect the image position, whether image is going to be real or virtual, enlarged or diminished, erect or inverted, we are going to see. For that, you may remember that for representing one point of an object in the image, we need two rays. Right? For drawing those two rays, we were using one of the two rules out of the three rules we have written. Right? For the convex mirror also, we can do the same thing. There are three rules we have to note. The first rule says that if incident ray is parallel to the principal axis, then the reflected ray appears to come from the focus of the mirror. And the incident ray and the parallel ga unte ganaka principal axis ki reflected ray vachi f nunchi vastunnattu ga anipistundi ani cheptunaru f nunchi focus nunchi vastunnattu ga untundi ani okay that is rule number 1 rule number 2 if the incident ray appears to pass through the focus of the mirror then the reflected ray is going to be parallel to the principal axis please note this you will understand about this as we progress in this video okay rule number 2 says that if incident ray appears to pass through focus of the mirror, then the reflected ray is going to be parallel to the principal axis. And the rule number three says that if incident ray appears to pass through center of curvature, then the reflected ray goes through the same path but in opposite direction. Okay. These three rules are similar to the rules given for concave mirror also. Here, everywhere we say that appears to come. Because focus and the center of curvature and the, they are behind the mirror, right? For that reason, you know, the rays appear to come or appear to pass through. This is, this is the difference you have. 
you may recall rules given for concave mirror also okay check these two ones so that you will understand the difference between them try to understand these three rules remember we are going to explain again when we are drawing ray diagrams for different cases okay let us say that the object is positioned in between infinity and p p is representing pole of the mirror right infinity is a point far away from the mirror surface okay we want to have an object in between infinity and p let's say i have object a b here okay now what i want to do is i want to draw ray diagram for point a first okay meaning to represent point a in the image i need two rays right those rays i am going to draw by making use of the rules we have learned just now rule number 1 says that if incident ray is parallel to the principal axis then the reflected ray appears to come from the focus of the mirror right so let me draw a ray parallel to principal axis from point a okay this is the point of incidence right it has to reflect from there how do i get that reflect reflected ray ka angle for that what i'm going to do is i have to draw a ray that appears to come from the focus of the mirror focus of the mirror is here you see i'm going to draw a line from focus to the point of incidence and continue that line such that you have the ray this is the reflected ray right if you observe this ray it looks like this ray is coming from point f right focus nunchi ostunnattu ganipistunda this is our reflected ray now i want to draw another ray from point a such that i can create image for point a right for that i am going to use rule number 3 it says that if incident ray appears to pass through center of curvature then the reflected ray goes through the same path but in opposite direction now from a i have to draw a ray such that it looks like it is going to pass through point c right you see i am drawing the ray this is the point of incidence but if you extend this ray it looks like it is going through c right meaning for this particular ray i can apply rule number 3 rule number 3 em an cheptundi since the incident ray is appearing to pass through center of curvature of the mirror the reflected ray is going to go through the same path but in opposite direction ante ఏ నుంచి సికి వెళ్ళే రే ఏదైతే ఉందో దానికి అపోజిట్ గా వెళ్తుంది రిఫ్లెక్టెడ్ రే యు సీ దిస్ దీస్ టూ రేస్ ఆర్ నాట్ గోయింగ్ టు మీట్ ఎనీవేర్ ఫ్రంట్ సైడ్ ఆఫ్ ద మిర్రర్ దే ఆర్ నాట్ గోయింగ్ టు మీట్ బట్ బ్యాక్ సైడ్ ఆఫ్ ద మిర్రర్ దే హ్యావ్ మెట్ రైట్ దిస్ పాయింట్ ఈజ్ ఏ ప్రైమ్ ఓకే అండర్స్టూడ్ ఏ ఈస్ ద పాయింట్ ఆన్ ద ఆబ్జెక్ట్ and a prime is going to be the point corresponding to a on the image similarly for b also we can do right b is here which is perpendicular to a right meaning on the line perpendicular to principal axis from a similarly here also i can draw a line which is perpendicular to the principal axis from a prime right that point is b prime so let me draw the image now you see you have a b arrow here a prime b prime is also an arrow right but it is small in size compared to the object the real object a b is much bigger than its image a b a prime b prime right and remember this the image is in between p and f and image is back side of the mirror right let's take a note of that image position is between p and f right image is in between p and f 
right and the image is going to be virtual because it is back side of the mirror right and the size is reduced it means it is diminished in size and it is upright or erect ante object ela undo exact ga alage undi ante head of the arrow it is towards top of the screen right here also head of the arrow is top towards top of the screen that's why you can say that it is upright or erect understood let us now consider the case 2 the position of object in this case is going to be far away from the mirror meaning it is at infinity let's say the mirror position is at p and the infinity is far away from the position of the mirror before drawing the ray diagrams for this you have to understand one point that says when the light source is far away from the mirror the light rays that are going to come onto the mirror are going to be parallel to the principal axis of the mirror light source kanaka chaala dooram lo undu ankonde mirror ki aa light source nunchi mirror meedu vache rays evaithe unnayo they look like they are going to be parallel to the principal axis of the mirror idu artham kavadam kosam let's see one simple example in this case you have two pins right and there is a light source which is slightly closer to the position of the pins and observe this shadow shadow lo chuste ganaka pins shadow looks like they are going away right from each other ala kaakunda when the light source is moved away from the position of the pins you see that the shadows are going to be parallel to each other this is exactly same going to happen for even light rays ikkada shadows tho example toti we have explained but the same is true when the light source is far away from the mirror the light rays are going to be parallel to the principal axis of the mirror please note this okay it means when i have an object like arrow that is let me call this as ab which is far away from the mirror meaning at infinity then all the rays are going to be parallel to the principal axis right suppose if i want to represent a point a from point a i can draw n number of rays but all are going to be parallel to the principal axis okay so rule number 1 says that if incident ray is parallel to the principal axis then the reflected ray in the case of convex mirrors is going to be appearing to come from the focus of the mirror and then when i have a ray parallel to the principal axis from point a this is the point of incidence right now the reflected ray looks like it is coming from focus of the mirror you see this is the reflected ray right now the problem is this in this case actually we, we know that in general we draw two rays to represent one point in the image right one point on the object if we want to re represent in the image we need at least two rays right but here what is the second ray whichever second ray i can draw from point a it is going to be exactly the same because it is going to be parallel to the principal axis right that's why those two rays are going to intersect at this point that is at f okay now if you want to understand further let me take a point let's say k from k i have a ray drawn parallel to the principal axis right now as per the rule number 1 it says that the reflected ray is going to appear such that it is coming from the focus of the mirror meaning e particular case lo kuda reflected ray focus nunchi ostunatte anipistundi right meaning a prime is at the focus and even k prime is also at the focus for example if you draw a parallel ray from b to the principal axis then again you are going to have b prime here meaning 
any point you take on this object its image is going to be at f only please note this okay that's why you say that when the object is at infinity when the object position is at infinity its image is going to be at f meaning at focus and the image is a point sized ikkada enta pedda arrow unna gaani that whole arrow is represented by one point at f right that's why it is called point sized and the image is going to be virtual because it is back side of the mirror and since it is back side of the mirror typically you have upright images and the, you can say that it is erect okay in both the cases of the convex mirror you are going to have erect and virtual images okay and in one case it is point sized meaning diminished to point size whereas in the other case it is diminished but it is not point sized okay convex mirrors and we rear view mirrors ga car slot la vaadtam right manaki road meeda pedda car unna gaani it looks like it is a small car appearing in your mirror right big building behind the mirror can be seen as a small building block in your mirror this is the reason wherever it is its size is going to be diminished if it is far away if it is at infinity let's say then the image size is going to be point size adhu vainda 